All right, so there's really no easy way for me to say this, and I know this is going to offend some people, but I want you to look past just the initial response you may get from this and actually have a peek at this. And all I really wanna say, and the whole purpose of this video is to just cast some light on this idea of self-care, self-love bullshit that I am seeing so much of. Now that is not to say that self-care, self-love, um, spending some time on yourself and giving some love to yourself is a bad thing, it's necessary, it's important, 100% for sure, no question about it, but I don't have the exact statistic for this, but a trend I've been seeing a lot of my clients a lot of the coaches inside the communities, a lot of the people inside the online coach community, that's like a community of 5,000 people and I see this trend of instead of calling it procrastination and just seeing it and looking at it for what it is, hey, I'm gonna procrastinate, so I'm gonna do some self-care, I need some time, I need a day, I need a week, I need a weekend, is insane. And there's a massive difference between actual self-care, like taking care of yourself and Self-care, procrastination, putting something off, not feeling like doing it, not wanting to do the work. And it's a never-ending cycle. I've had clients and it breaks my heart, but they have so much potential. And it's like every time it gets difficult, every time it gets tough, every time there's resistance, instead of seeing it for what it is, it's a workout, it's resistance, it's getting stronger, it's building the muscle, the fortitude, the strength, the commitment, the dedication, instead of seeing it as that, they see it as, oh, something's not in alignment. This is too hard. It shouldn't be hard. It should be easy. I'm not attracting what I'm supposed to be attracting. Let me take some self-care days. Days. I'm not saying 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a walk along the ocean. I do it all of the time. I'm stressed. There's a problem. Let me go walk the seawall for half hour. Let me do something I love to do for half hour, get away from the problem, and then come back with solutions, which usually happens. I'm talking they need days, weekends, they need to get away, they need to book a holiday, spend a ton of money on booking a holiday, and then they realize when they come back, and I've done this so I get it, but you come back and you still feel the same way. It hasn't solved anything. That procrastination or hiding procrastinating, just admit it for what it, just say, hey, I'm procrastinating. That's the first step. Look at it, I'm procrastinating. Okay, next step. But hiding it is just, it's gonna lead to so much more anxiety. I speak from experience and I see people going through this all of the time. It's gonna lead to so much more anxiety, so much more tension, so much more stress than just effing doing it. Even if you don't feel like it, even if it hurts doing it because on the other side of that, A, you can earn your self-care, you can earn a weekend, you'll also find that you don't necessarily even need it. Like you just feel great, you're doing what you love, things are slowly getting into flow, things are working out, but you have to push through that resistance and build some momentum. So please, please, please try to be as aware, as real, as authentic, as open-minded as you can right now to am I doing everything in my power to accomplish the mission, to get what I want, to go where I wanna be? Am I doing the work? If the answer is no, then I don't, I truly feel, I truly believe, without even meeting you, that you probably don't need any self-care or self-love days. You've probably taken enough of those. Let's put in the work and earn it. Now, if there's little short windows during your day, I'm huge on that. I have the first hour of my day, I have an hour in the middle of the day, and I have a good hour at the end of the day that is my time. I fail on it sometimes, but I try to, as as religiously as I can to stick to that, I take some time for me every single day because it's great changing my frame and changing my reference and changing my perspective on the problems we're facing, which is many, and finding solutions to those problems. But if I just took self-care when I think I needed it, I would probably never work. I'd probably always be on a beach or always be traveling somewhere or always riding a motorcycle. You've gotta, you've gotta push through that resistance. So that's my challenge to you, if any of this resonates, leave a comment, let me know what you think. A lot of these comments get turned into videos and by joining the conversation, it gives me ideas of where to take the conversation and this channel. Next, this channel has no agenda other than just solving your problems, your questions, answering your questions, helping you out. So feel free 
to leave something below if you feel like this resonates, if you feel like it helps, or if you have something to add to the conversation. With that said, anything else at Lucas Rubix. The website's lucasrubix.com, the Instagram's at Lucas Rubix, the YouTube channel's at Lucas Rubix. The podcast is not at Lucas Rubix, but it's all at lucasrubix.com. If you're trying to grow an empire, if you're looking to sharpen your marketing skills, if you're looking to get clients, get leads, build an email list, build social media, get the, your message out there, your mission out there, and have your potential clients clearly understand what it is you're saying, check out lucasrubers.com. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if I can help you in any single way, and we'll chat soon. When did one and more become such a bad thing? I've always lived my life with the simple philosophy that when everyone is going left, you go right. When everyone is doing things one way, you go the other. You do not conform, you do not blend in, you do not blindly follow the masses. For as long as you stay a sheep, you will never get what you want. Now all I'm asking you is that you go after that thing you want with a relentless drive, no matter what anyone thinks of you, no matter what the world says of you, no matter how you feel or how tired you may be, you go after it like your life depends on it. The only question I have for you is are you willing to do whatever it takes?